now, you're on the threshold of an amazing adventure. Yeah. One, two, one, two. Right now, you're on the threshold of an amazing adventure. Threshold of an amazing adventure. Showtime. Now, you're on the threshold of an amazing adventure. Showtime. <clears throat> Hello. Welcome. <laughs> Everybody's favorite type of voice. Entirely vocal fry. How are y'all doing? Welcome. How cool is it? I have had a very long day. And I'm ready for some fun. Hey yo, it's the Rat Pack. What is up, Space? Hi, doggy. What is up, Keyshawn? Welcome! Good to see y'all. It is time for more fun. To enjoy ourselves while we watch this asshole who stole children's lives, stole people's artwork, and conveniently neglected to call an ambulance and just watched someone die in order to steal their artwork and essentially steal their son and his artwork. Wild. So yeah, that's what's gonna, gonna happen today. How's the rat? The rat is doing okay. Had a really long day. I uh, got stabbed four times today. <laughs> and by that I mean I went and got my blood drowned. You can see a bruise there already. This big one is from I had to go get blood drawn for a glucose blood gluco glucose test last week. Oh yeah, this is kind of having to do with the baby rat. Um, you have to go in for a glucose test at some point to see if you have gestational diabetes. Uh, took the first one and failed, apparently. So had to go in today for a three hour long fasting test. And they drew my blood. Right when I got there, had a drink, a very sugary drink, which actually tasted a lot like when you get those ice pops that just come in a plastic tube and you let it melt and just like drink the juice. Tasted like that. 
Which is nice when it's just a little bit from the tube, but when it's an entire like eight ounce bottle worth, it's a lot. It's a lot of sugar. Uh, so yeah, I had to drink that and then they drew my blood so they can see what my sugar levels were every hour for three hours after that. So I got stabbed four times today. Um, that first bruise is from the first test. This little one is from two stabs today, which is going to get bigger. And then this arm, you can see, is the two other stabs from today. Yay! <laughs> That's how I started my day. You've had one of those drinks before? Yeah, they are very sugary. Whew. And let me tell you, um, the fruit punch flavor was way more sugary tasting than the lemony one that I had last time. It was a lot. A lot of stabs for one day. Indeed. Other than that, Lil Nugget's been doing okay. As far as I can tell, he's been doing doing his squirmies like he should be. Kicking and moving. And uh, growing. And uh, being his little fetal self. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> don't really know. Can't see him. But yeah. We'll see how those tests come back. Hopefully. No gestational diabetes, but we will see. My mom had it when she was pregnant with me, so... I am more genetically inclined to have it, unfortunately. But we'll see. We'll see. All right, y'all ready for this? Bop, 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 bop. Let's do the crap. Never even heard of gestational diabetes, sounds horrible. Yeah, I mean, it's just cause you're pregnant <laughs> and baby is making things weird in your body. All of a sudden, your body's not able to process glucose the way it used to. So you will develop diabetes while pregnant and then it goes away and you are no longer pregnant what am i doing i'm changing the size of oops there we go of this Chill's turn to take over as a pregnant one. Yeah! Let's do it. Chill can take a turn. Goodness. All right, let's start playing. Maybe we can just watch some TV. Yeah, let's just watch some TV to finish out our night. <laughs> There's sulfur leaking from the tank. We need to do something fast. It's fine. I'll just use this chocolate. See, the acid and the sugar are reacting. Story about a man who never gives up, beating all odds with science and ingenuity. Wow! He fixed the tank's crack. The tank's crack with chocolate? How does he stay so calm at a time like that? Hey, hey! <laughs> I love that sit. That kitty cat sit. The protagonist knew just what to do, despite the crazy situation. Maybe you learned a thing or two about proficiency from watching this drama. Mm. Huzzah! Well then. Well, it's starting to get late. Let's head to bed soon, okay? I've always said if men could get pregnant, abortion would be legal in all 50 states at every stage of pregnancy, right? Uh-oh. We have been... 
called. We have been summoned. That's the word I was looking for. You have expelled one who was stained in vanity. Yes. Yes, I did. You are now one step closer to your rehabilitation. It's a delightful thing indeed. Why are your eyes so bloodshot? You should be honored, inmate. However, that man's remarks are concerning. It seems another has made their way into the metaverse. Yes, it does. Is that true? Who could it be? That is beyond my knowledge. But your rehabilitation is progressing smoothly. That is for certain. May the devotion to your rehabilitation grow even deeper. I have high hopes for you. Bond with Igor! Mm. Rank up! Alright. Hell yeah. Sauce plus. Is this an, his announcement? What's He's up on the Tiva. Oh, is he crying? I, I have committed crimes that are unbecoming of an artist. Plagiarized. I mean, anyone. I, Don't just say artist. Plagiarized work. I, I tainted this, this country's art world. And, and, even Sayori. How could I? Oh God! Look I at his face. Apologize to, <laughs> to everyone for for what I've done. <laughs> Lordy, <sighs> he's crying way too much. <laughs> Indeed. And that was from the urgent apology conference by Matarame that took place just a moment ago. After reporting to the association, Matarame has agreed to the police's request to turn himself in. Wasn't he on TV the other day? On top of charges of abuse to his pupils, Matarame is under suspicion of claiming their works as his own. Some doubt suspicion. The that his maiden work, Sayuri, was stolen, believing it was used for fraud. This large-scale criminal act has caused a great shock to the art world, and... That old man's done for. After the conference, Matarame was taken to a police hospital for interrogation due to his age. Police hospital. However, initial psych evaluations state that he is mentally sound and likely responsible for his actions. There's no need to be nice to an old geezer like that. <laughs> Why do he spill the beans himself? Doesn't that seem weird? Also, a group calling themselves the Phantom Thieves posted Urgent a apology conference. at Matarame's exhibit. The police will investigate their relation to this case, but for now, did not identify them as suspects. Phantom thieves? Do these bandits have something to do with that old geezer's apology? Oh, I've I've been thanking them, them. They supposedly steal evil hearts. It's why the culprits apologize. Wait, what? Steal hearts? <laughs> That's impossible, though. But I feel like I saw something about that online, too. They sent out a calling card for real. Oh, so it was like, we're going to take your heart? Oh, that's impressive if someone Ooh. really did that. <laughs> Phantom thieves, huh? <gasps> Who this pleasant boy with a mullet? It's our student body president. Did you guys see the news about Matarame? It's just like what happened with Kamoshida. Hell yeah! And they mentioned the Phantom Thieves! Hell yeah! Man, this is starting to get interesting. If we do it right, we can change people's hearts. With uh -huh. this power, we might be able to do more than just getting back at society. It'll be a big deal. Mullet, shit you in for it now. <laughs> it was a lot longer in the back than it was in the front. Uh, this will be fun. I don't know. Uh, this will be fun. Let's keep pushing on then. As for me, I hope we just keep getting more and more famous. Something like this happening twice is massive, too. It's too great a coincidence to occur normally. 
If we continue doing this, we'll definitely be able to give courage to everyone who needs it. <gasps> we may want what? to quiet down a little. Do you know them? You moron! Those are attendance officers! Hello there. May I speak with you for a moment? Why uh, else? Yes! How can we help you? That monotonous acting of hers never fails to send a chill down <laughs> my spine. What are you all doing here? Are you friends? What does it matter to you? We're delinquents. <laughs> we wanted some tea. We're delinquents. What do we look like? Uh. How can we help you? <laughs> She's so awful at playing it cool. Uh, these two seem too sassy. Sure, T. Why not? Hmm, is that so? And how would you do that in a place like this? Because this is just where we, we met were up. Just discussing where we should go. Where well, we should right. go. Just make sure you disperse before it gets too late, okay? There have been some odd happenings lately, and the news about that artist has caused quite the stir. We'll be careful. Okay, Dad. It's still light out. Leave us alone. Yeah, these guys must have way too much time on their hands. Hey, don't go making stuff up on the spot like that, okay? I totally panicked because of you. What do you mean? On, we'll Everything was on the spot. Than before. Look at us. Right after the second thieves incident, both prior victims are meeting up. Hey, what's up, gamer Wait, lover? How you doing? I mean, Welcome back. You listening to us? It'll be fine. Look around. We're the only people worrying about it. I guess you're right. By the way, Yusuke, you able to get anything out of Madarame? Remember how he was talking about that suspicious person in the black mask? Well, I pressed him for answers, but he doesn't even understand what happened to him to begin with. It's not like he actually saw his desires get stolen, after all. It's rumored that he may be sent to prison. In that case, gaining information will be difficult. So, what are you gonna do now? I'll be leaving that house. I can't draw in such a place anymore. Do you yeah, it's all about, about drawing. What about living? School dorms. I can stay there free of charge thanks to my fine arts scholarship. A scholarship? Wait, you're that good? Although, Takamaki-san's house would do as well. Wait, what? <laughs> you know, Why are you volunteering her? For you, whenever you wanted. You moron! Then again, now that Yusuke will be living alone, it'll be easier for us to meet up whenever we want. For the time being, we should wait and see how this case plays out. <sighs> and it'll probably take some time finding a target as big as Madarame. Anyway, we should just act like normal students while we look for our next target, okay? We'll be entrusting that to you again, Ryuji. Alright, guess it's just more prep till then. Yusuke Kitagawa. Why are you spying on us? Fuck off. Too sassy? There's a 17 year old kid. Sassy would be the most natural disposition. Right. But also, we're talking to the cops. So, after Shiho Suzui, you did it again for someone you barely knew? You were sent away twice, almost reported to the police, and yet you still wanted to save him. Moreover, you ended up in a museum instead of a castle this time. You're still going to maintain this rubbish about changing someone's heart by stealing their treasure? I mean, what else am I gonna tell you? It's the truth, take it how you will. <clears throat> Very well. The truth behind this tale of yours will be clear once your conspirators are in custody. Now then, tell me about this new member who joined your group. There's no point in being stubborn. It will only damage your position. The identity of Madarame's pupil can be easily discovered with a little investigation. Yeah, he was the only pupil. <laughs> Go right ahead, I'm not telling blank. Go right ahead. So you won't sell out your accomplice? Of course not. Fine. There's still much more that I want to hear. 
It was around this time that the Phantom Thieves began to truly gain popularity. Lies flooded the internet. Things like the Phantom Thieves saved me. Oh, your paper got lost in the mail? No! For heaven's sake, those lies Music made gives me Paper Mario 64 vibes. You love drawing? Yeah, drawing's now pretty great. Now your next great. target was this man, Junya Kaneshiro. Who the fuck is it? He doesn't compare to the previous two. Even the police had been struggling to apprehend him. So, exactly how did you take down such a well-guarded criminal? Tell me. I don't know. I ain't done it yet. <gasps> Summary updated. The suspect has repeatedly testified that he does not have any recollection of his actions. A full psychiatric evaluation will be performed to further investigate the crime's details and motives. First Kamoshida at Shujin Academy, and now Matarame. I found a number of points of commonality between the two. Both, for example, were sent a calling card before their unforeseen changes of heart. I see. But isn't tying their cases to the series of psychotic breakdowns jumping to conclusions? Furthermore, the police will frown upon you stepping into this. Now isn't the time to be worrying about things like jurisdiction and honor. We need to dig deeper and find a correlation among the incidents these past two, three years. <sighs> Very well, I leave it to you. However, you must not let this interfere with your regular duties. Thank you, sir. That damn woman just had to stick her nose into this. And I understand that these abnormal incidents have caused some anxiety throughout our country. This situation must be approached with the utmost seriousness. This glasses I shall just make him look like an to asshole. Put forth great effort so that every citizen can live with peace of mind. Not only are there these phantom thieves to worry about, but if that is exposed. <sighs> that? What is that? Oh. <laughs> Looks like Yusuke is texting me. I think you're getting them too. You have my gratitude. What are you so polite for all of a sudden? I truly am thankful to you for making me come to my senses. Exaggerating you owe us fine. I most certainly am not. I must express my gratitude earnestly. You're one of us now, man. We'll be counting on you, okay? Of course. And if anything comes up, we won't hesitate to lend a hand. Thank you. Well then, see you. <laughs> he didn't have to go through all that trouble just to thank us. He's such an honest guy. Anyways, that went well for our first job, huh? It was a huge success. So that said, you got time after this? Sure. You know. Well, thing is, I got some free tickets to a darts lounge from this guy I know. <gasps> we playing darts? But I totally forgot that they expire today, so... Wanna go right now? <sighs> Ryuji, we... Didn't we just finish talking about how we need to be on guard? Come on, it's just darts. Don't you wanna play too, Morgana? I mean, if you can actually throw anything. Mm. If you're just gonna play, then I guess it shouldn't be a problem. All right, then let's head to the starts lounge or whatever it is. Lead the way, Ryuji. Yeah. Hell yeah, I'm on it. All right, the place is Kichi Joji, so we gotta take the train first. I've never been there. Oh, what for real? There's a bunch of different shops right outside the station there. Let's go. It's just one stop away from Shibuya, so let's head to the Inogami line first. Oh boy. You expect me to just know how to do that? Come on, man. No! I want a smoothie. It's Sunday. I want a smoothie. Whoa. I want to shop. Hey. These stairs will take you to the Inagami line. This is the way to Kichi Joji. 
I'm getting excited. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. Oh, oh, it's one step further from the park, huh? Popular with men and women of all ages, the streets are lined with shops. Find your own style. Unique styles on display may intimidate newcomers, but all are welcome. All right. Let's go. Now, we're heading to an area that's outside of where your commuter pass works. So make sure you've got the fare. Okay. Oh, boy. That damn woman. You know he's down bad. <laughs> the school commuter train allows you to pass to allows you to travel for free on two railway lines. Yogan Jaya and to Shibuya and Shibuya to Ayo Yama Ichime. I'm having a lot of trouble with that today. You'll have to pay a fare to travel outside of these areas, so make your travel plans accordingly. <sighs> Those two. Can we not just enjoy ourselves without you spying on us? So this is Kichijoji, huh? You can tell it's nothing like Shibuya just from the atmosphere alone. Well, yeah. Looks like there's a lot of shops here that you can't find in Shibuya. Not that I'd really know. Seems interesting. Get over to the... Seems interesting. What? Oh, it's got your attention now, huh? Ahn's not here because she's busy, but I bet it'd be fun to come here with some more people. I think the darts lounge is one block up from the main street. All right. But since we're here, I won't say no to checking out a bunch of the other shops on the way. Ooh, yeah. We get to explore. Hmm. <laughs> Mikado, fuck off. Let me go on my little boyfriend date. Hi there. Hello! We do our best to provide information regarding this area. Hey! Why don't you ask him about Kichijoji? Any questions? What would you like to hear about? City, what do you recommend? About the stores, what do you recommend? Well then! I know just the thing. Please allow me to explain. You're a miner, correct? If that's the case, if you go past the drinking district and reach Rue de Chochu, you will find a darts and billiards lounge. We're already fucking heading there. It's actually a very casual place. Um, what about Did somewhere you know? unique? One of the city's hidden gems is the temple in the promenade. It's even popular among young people who are looking for some guidance. Oh, maybe that doesn't really include students like you? <laughs> if you're ever interested, you should check it out. Uh, the stores. Well then. There's a strange, excuse me, a unique second-hand clothing here as well. It's located on the Promenade Street. The manager always greets me in the morning, but he's always saying, I specifically want city clothing, and it's quite picky about what you bring in, too. Oh, and have you been to the incense store in Harmony Alley? It actually opened quite recently. They have incenses that people have never even heard of before, and it's not a fishy store either. Come again. Mm. Let's just wander. Okay, what's these? Hmm. My Morgana senses are telling me that this door sells a lot of stuff that suits my taste. What the hell are Morgana senses? Oh. Well, let's take a look. Welcome. Oh, can buy some gifts. Morgana likes these gifts. Oh, for the art enthusiast. We'll get that to give to Yusuke. <laughs> Did your senses tell you to get one? I bought it for Yusuke! Hey. Oh dude, check out that sign in the store. It says bring your city clothing here. City clothes. Hmm. Heh. <laughs> Let's see what they've got. Wait, what's that? 
Can I take a look at that? Don't worry, I won't steal it. At the second hand shop, you can sell city armor uh, you own. Depending on what the city armor was originally, it may fetch a decent price. For each clothing item you sell, you will obtain shop points, which can be traded for prizes at the shop. See if you can find something useful. Nice! This guy's reacting to clothing that we got from Shadows. Seems he knows what he's talking about. It's kind of crazy how over there you can just hop on a bullet train and be halfway across the country in no time, take a walk around, just hop on another train and head back home. Yeah, just take a day trip. <laughs> I've been here for over 40 years, but I've never seen clothing that makes my heart chill. Alright, I'll buy it. But I'll only buy it for the price it deserves. So we have a point card system here. Each piece of clothing you sell here will give you 10 points. Once you obtain enough points, you can trade them for a prize. So feel free to let us take that clothing off your hands. Hmm. Hmm. Not only is gonna buy them from us, he's gonna give us points for them too? We should definitely come back here. Uh, I want to see what the prizes are first. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Welcome. Sure. I've got 60 points! Uh, ba 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 Apparently you can ride around the entire country in 12 hours. <laughs> wow. I'm curious what's in here. I want to try it. Hey, hey! I always want to know what's inside this stuff. Let's take a look. Old ghastly dress. <laughs> oh, lovely. Not too bad. Let's get this again sometime. All right. Let's move on. <laughs> that was a weird store. But I guess it was pretty fun. Let's check it out again sometime. Huh. When you look at it up close, it's quite a sight, huh? I bet having a temple in a shopping district really helps businesses. Yes. Shopping. I'm on a date with Ryuji. Oh. Holy crap, look at the line. I think I saw this store on TV. Oh, the smell. Looks like their special meat cutlet is their most popular item. Oh, they have enough for the people in line. Uh. Well, I guess we can't do shit if it's this busy. But let's keep in mind that we might be able to buy the special meat cutlet at night. Okay. Can't buy anything right now. Hey, you. Hey, you. I see you. I see you. Um. My, what a coincidence. Um. Mm-hmm. Coincidence, you say, huh? Oh. Little meat bun place? Hey, look! 
Dude, this Nikamon looks much tastier than the ones at the convenience stores. It does. Hey, you guys want to get one? How about it? Selling our hot and fresh Chinese buns here. Ooh. Juicy. 30 HP, nice. Ooh, 50. 100! Hell yeah! 43 of them. And that's just because that's as much money as I've got. I'll get one of those. Two of those. And three of those. Nom. Napolitan Nikomon and Peppery Nikomon. Man, I wonder what they taste like. I'm totally gonna eat it one of these days. Probably. Following us around, you fucking weirdo. Oh! A jazz club, huh? Seems like a place for adults. Dude, you get jazz? That's cool. Either way, it looks like it's only open at night. They've got food from foreign countries? Some of these look pretty interesting. Seems like they've got some rare stuff. Let's check it out. Welcome! Oh! Corned beef special. <laughs> oh, to all allies? Hell yeah. That's good. Ooh, they're all to all allies! Yes. Let's get one popcorn bomb. Let's get one cereal multi-pack. And we'll get one corned beef special. Everywhere you go, she's gonna be right behind you like, My, what a coincidence! I mean, look at her right now! <laughs> oh, did you get something? Let me know what it tastes like, yeah? Look at this bitch! Leave us alone! Let us have our little date! Wait, am I going the wrong way? I'm going the wrong way. Back this way. Hmm? What are y'all shouting about? So many people getting tricked into scams, it feels good to see the bad guys cry while they apologize. Which reminds me, I heard of some of my customers talking about the Phantom Thieves. Have you heard of them? My kids were talking about them too. I can't quite figure out if it's some kind of prank or a form of blackmail or what. Yeah, I don't even know if they're real or not, but wouldn't it be great if they really existed? About oh. that. Ah, this is the road. Hey. Name of that shop matches what's on the free tickets. It sends it says Penguin Sniper? Huh? Why do you give one of those doofy birds a gun? For real? It's not meant to be taken literally. Still, if you're coming up with a good name, well, whatever. Let's check it out. Not until we check everything else out. Try our 40 day aged A5 rank meat. Savor meat that melts in your mouth. Stop it, stop it. You're gonna make me wanna eat it. This place is dangerous. Let's stay away from here. Sounds so tasty. Hmm. A store that only sells glasses. Check out all the different kinds they have. I keep forgetting, but your glasses are fake, huh? Do you think they'd look s do you think I'd look smarter if I had glasses on? My glasses are fake? What? No. Don't make that real. Don't make that canon that my character wears fake glasses every day. Ugh. No. Here, this is oh, here, this is the place. Oh man, I'm getting kind of nervous. <laughs> You're such a child. Try not to embarrass the rest of us, would you? You don't gotta tell me that. So what's the plan? You wanna head inside? Hey! One more look at this place. 
Whoa, check out all the treasures they have in here. <gasps> Chopel is here. Hey, everybody. Rare and exotic corned beef. <laughs> right. Power stones are those amulet-like things, right? They've got some weird power or something. Let's check it out. Take your time. Ooh, got some accessories. I already have 12 of those, apparently. Fire amp. Ooh, that would boost firepower, I guess. Ice, wind, electric. Probably nuclear, psychic, uh, bless damage, I think it was called. Probably curse damage. Interesting. They're very expensive. Come on. I almost got a bloody nose just from looking at those prices. But it looked like they actually had some power in them. We ought to check it out sometime. Maybe it'll come in handy for the Phantom Thieves. All right, let's go in this time. Oh. Let's go! Chill, chat voted, and it's your turn to be pregnant. Enjoy the gestational diabetes! <laughs> yeah! You get it for this part, and for the delivery. <laughs> Alright, bull! That's a new high score! Bull? The center of the target's called the bullseye. If you land a dart there, it's called the bull. I think it's called bullseye. <laughs> I know because I looked up the rules online last night. Anyway, this game's called Zero One. You win by getting your score all the way down to zero points before the other player. Oh, so you're not trying to get a high score, but get rid of your score? That's pretty different. We both start with the same score. Then you lose points based on the number on the board where your dart lands. And you can only win if you get your score down to zero exactly. You can't even be off by a single point. How's that sound? Pretty sick, right? Pretty difficult. You have to be able to calculate your score properly while making sure you hit the right numbers on the board. This game seems like it takes an a anatomical lot of disadvantage. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> nah, you got this. <laughs> One point. Come on, you have to straighten your arm out more and... Hey Ryuji, what's up? Ah, I was just reading this flyer. It says, darts is a party when you play in pairs. You team up with someone and alternate throwers when it's your turn. You still use the same rules I told you though. Hey, what do you say we give it a try? This sounds fun, you better not tank us. <laughs> sounds fun. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's do this. I'm gonna call Georgia and say find more votes really quick. <laughs> Whoa, a bull right off the bat? Man, talk about an exciting opening. Here goes. Don't underestimate an ex-athlete. Yeah, you were doing a very different kind of activity. Running and dart throwing is not the same. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Hell yeah, triple <laughs> twenty! Whoa, he hit such a tiny spot. Quite impressive, especially for you, Ryuji. Yeah, the thing is, was he actually aiming for that spot, or did he just get that spot? We're almost down to zero points. It's really focused Bullshit, for triple round. twenty. No easy feat. You really do have something special going on. Man, this is so fun. When you're on the line, the pressure's insane. But it makes you want to do your best for your partner. Your partner, eh? Whoa. Hey, cool. So this is actually going to help with um, baton passing to Ryuji, I guess. I feel like I understand something better after pairing up with Ryuji. Me too! So I guess if we baton pass to each other? The higher your baton pass rank, the more powerful the effects will be when performing a baton pass. 
Rank 1, increased damage dealt. Rank 2, increased damage dealt and heal HP. Ooh, that's good. And then add rank 3, recover SP. Ooh, I want that. You can verify a party, party member's baton pass rank on the stat screen. Cool. <laughs> Based on the looks on your faces, I'm guessing both of you got something out of this game. Uh, can never go into an arcade like this. OCD would make me go nuts. Found it strange that the bullseye wasn't worth the most points on the board. I think, um, Chilpil, I think the outer ring of the bullseye or whatever is worth 50 and the interior is 100. I believe. Like, if you get it literally smacked up in the center, it's worth 100. But if it's just on, like, that red portion of the circle on the... The dartboard that we see there, it's 50. I think that's what it was. Even if it is just a game, it can be some kind of training. Oh, is it 50 and 25? <laughs> well, I do always have the phantom thieves on the brain. Let's keep practicing together here. Oh, oh! Let's invite everybody next time! Man, all this just from me asking you to meet me here? This is like, uh, you know, one of those strikes of good luck. A stroke of good luck? Why would it be a strike? <laughs> Who would protest having good luck? Ooh, what's that? Ooh! <laughs> oh Playing yeah, pool. they have pool here too! This game could be useful too. Just do a quick Depending Google search. Look at Damn. It. Yeah, it's already pretty late though. We can come back and play it later. Ah, and don't forget, we got a couple free tickets to play today, but next time you'll have to pay up. But it was super fun, right? Oh, I really want to play again sometime. Well, we should head home for the day. Thanks for hanging out. You're welcome. Get so perfectionist over games that I have to just practice and practice until I can win consistently and way too competitive. Yeah. I heard customers say it's gotten pretty dangerous over there. Don't let yourself be a target. Got it. Mm. Well, it's really gotten that unsafe, huh? That said, you still want to check out Kichio Kichijoji at night, don't you? Don't worry, Ratter. Worst comes to worst, I've got your back. <laughs> Besides, there's a certain delicious smell on that street that bears investigating. <laughs> Picked up some interesting info you might want to hear. Apparently there's this old man who's been causing problems in Kichijoji. If you make one wrong move or say the wrong thing, he flies into a rage and it turns into a fight. Even if you don't hit him, he lies and says you did and then sues for damages. So he's like a con artist, or like, a conflict artist. And the cops? Well, they tried to give him a warning, but when he pretends to be senile, he gets away with everything. We can't just let him go unchecked, right? Only problem is, knowing that he's an old troublemaker isn't enough to get us a name. But I did hear that he hangs out in Kichijoji's Harmony Alley a lot. This old man sure does sound like a problem. If we don't know his name, we can't make him have a change of heart. Okay, it sounds like our next stop is Kichijoji. Let's go check out this Harmony Alley. Request! Damn, I just want some crossword. Time down another grill to your party. We are dude heavy. <laughs> I feel like last time he said that we might be able to do something with those shelves, right? Great. 
Oh, yeah. You bought some plant nutrients, right? Why don't you try using them? Oh. Oh, I thought those were to give to people. Okay. Let's try a basic nutrient. Nice. These are cheap, but it's far better than giving it nothing. Hey, we got the kindness yes. point. Very good. Finish our, finish our guy, McVer. Damn, they shut off the power. How are we going to rig an alarm now? Whoever said you need electricity to make an alarm? Give me that empty soda cap. I'll just tie it to this string. Hmm. This guy makes all sorts of tools with whatever he has on hand. Impressive. Oh. Hmm. Proficiency up. Favorite game to play with darts is where you start with 301 points and you have to be the first to reach with zero to one. I think that's the version that they just played. <gasps> hey, our proficiency actually leveled up. Look at All us right. go. Okay. Well then. Time for bid. Phantom Thieves victory! Hey, We doubled our percentage. Very nice. Did you see the news? About the calling card from the Phantom Thieves, right? The way it was written seemed pretty legit. Have they really stolen people's hearts? I can't believe the Phantom Thieves actually exist. It's so gross and humid. Now for today's train news. Today's headlines are... Hotspots of Tokyo! Penguin Sniper has opened for business in Kichijoji. What's Penguin Sniper, you ask? A zoo? A pet shop? No! It's a trendy lounge for darts and billiards. Whether alone or in a group, how you play is up to you. Oh! Oh, it's that one lounge. Next time we go, we gotta play darts, too. Or I'm gonna play darts, too. Still, there sure are a lot of shops in Kichijoji. We should take our time and look around when we get the chance. I did look around. <laughs> That's cute, a gun. A penguin with a little gun. Morning. The response to Madarame's press conference was huge. Everyone's talking about the calling card. Girls are checking me out today. Maybe they can't help but sense my overflowing phantom thief charisma. Oh shit, am I finally starting to be popular with all the fly hunt? Oh no. What's wrong? For real? What's wrong? My uniform, man. That's what? We're supposed to switch to summer uniforms today. I knew people were looking at me. Oh god damn it. I gotta go home and change, so you go on ahead. Imagine having enough time to go home and change. Your pants <laughs> 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 sleeves are so not for you. Shut up, jeez. Anyway, did you catch the news yesterday? Watching that famous artist cry his eyes out over all the artwork he's stolen. Same thing happened to Kamashita, right? Both got weird calling cards, too. You ask me, the same person is behind all this. The news this morning said a group called the Rat Pack are the ones behind the cards. Yay! Wonder how they get people to confess. I mean, they can't literally be stealing hearts. Blackmail, maybe? Gah. Made it. Ugh. Sprinting first thing in the morning was a bad idea. I don't think that t-shirt's gonna fly, bud. Also, didn't you literally just, like, take off your jacket and that was it? You could have done that without going home. Well, that's definitely my personal best by a lot. How 
are things going in regard to that matter we spoke of earlier? I have nothing to report yet. Nothing at all? How many students are there who could provoke a teacher? I've already narrowed it down. I just can't get any solid evidence. <sighs> you knew, didn't you? About Mr. Kamashita sexually harassing students. Of course he did. Sir! What will come of you asking that? This investigation is for a just cause, correct? No. I believe I understand how flustered this must be making you. It's to cover his own ass. I'm sure it was truly shocking for you as student council president to see a peer attempt suicide. Yes. We must provide a school environment where all students can feel at ease. <sighs> so you let them get sexually harassed and physically abused? That is the most pressing issue we have to tackle at the moment. So that's your reason behind this investigation on the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? We don't even know if they truly exist. Why are you... You heard about the incident with that Madarami fellow, I assume? They said there was a similar calling card to the one used in Mr. Komashita's case. I wish to believe that this is unrelated to our students. Yes. That is where I stand. I suggest you devote your energy to the task at hand, not unnecessary questions. <sighs> Did you see Madarame's press conference? You mean that guy who was all like, how could I possibly apologize for what I've done? Oh. <laughs> Think it was really those phantom thieves? You know, the whole stealing your heart thing? That? Uh, there's no way. But then again, it seems too convenient for it all to just be coincidence. Yeah! How's it going? I like how they drew him. We found our next big target? On the backboard. I just started looking yesterday. No way I'm gonna find one that quick. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. By the way, I decided on the TV station. What about you? Huh? Oh crap, the social studies trip. Oh, I just want to ditch it. Of course you do, you want to ditch everything. You'd better go to your school activities. Didn't I tell you not to draw attention to yourselves? Wouldn't me suddenly turn it into a good student stand out more? Quit bickering and go. I mean, he's got a point. The TV station. I heard we're gonna get to watch them tape a show. Maybe there'll be actresses there. <laughs> the blinks. Oh well, not like I got anything better to do than waiting for info to come in online. Plus, Morgana's right. Showing up will keep the teachers from getting all suspicious of me. All right, I'm gonna head back. TV, huh? Maybe I should get a haircut. <laughs> that guy is such an idiot. I hope nothing happens. Drink it. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hey. You want to get up? jerk she's ignoring me she moved closer to me but she's not jumping up on the couch hey sweet girl feels pretty great having everyone talk about us huh Madarame is the only topic of conversation at my school. And as I'm his pupil, most of my peers have chosen to ignore me. For real? That's bullshit. Are you gonna be okay? There is no need to worry. They had already been treating me differently from others as it stood. 
This is nothing new to me. Okay, then. More importantly, do we have any leads on our next mission? Are you kidding? There's no way we would... There's no way we'd find a target that quick. Need to wait and see. To Mementos we go! Understood. Oh, we could always go to Mementos instead. I will keep myself free. Please tell me if anything comes up. Hey, are you listening? No. You, pay attention. Is that how you listen when someone's talking to you? believe he dodged Ushimaru's throw. Is he a ninja? <laughs> hey! Oh, you've got the entire class's attention. Your charm has definitely increased. Charm and AF, that's me. Oh. Uh, senpai. Hello. What a pleasant surprise. It's really pouring down, isn't it? I thought something like this would happen. So I snuck a collapsible umbrella into your bag. Thanks so much. Keep packing for me, please. What a considerate kitty. Of course. This isn't something any ordinary cat would do. And just in case you've forgotten again, I'm a human, not a cat. <laughs> See you around. Once you get wet, though, where's your umbrella? Unfortunately, I forgot it. But it's fine. I'll barely get wet if I run to the station. If anything, mm. it'll make for good training. That's not really how that works. You want a piece of this? <laughs> what kind of phrasing is that? <laughs> you want a piece of this? Is he trying to start a fight? I'm gonna say that one because what the fuck? Oh, you'll share your umbrella? <laughs> the weirdest wonderful. way to say Thank that. You so much. Thanks again. You for tell that ninety journey. pound girl, right? To be honest, prelims are coming up soon, so I didn't want to take any chances of getting sick. Prelims? Oh, the preliminary competition for gymnastics. Two huge competitions are coming up. One at the beginning of summer, and one near the end. If I'm going to participate in the prelims, I have to be selected as my club's representative. And there's a qualifier meet to determine who that rep will be. It's my dream to compete in gymnastics on the global level. So, I plan on maintaining a strict training regimen with my coach. She's so damn tiny. Yes, yeah, she is. Sure devoted, I'll cheer you on. It's nothing extraordinary, but it's for my dream. So you see Morgana just sticking out the back of his have. bag, staring staring at the kid behind them. Do you see that little kitty head? People aren't supposed to know that you're in my bag! Get your head in! Oh, you're getting oh, rained on. We're already at the station. I'll be fine from here out. I can't thank you enough for today. I swear, I'll return the favor some. Hey, isn't that Yoshizawa? You mean the honors gymnast? She gets the VIP treatment at school and a boyfriend to escort her around. And the special <laughs> snowflake Fuck off, you two. on Easy Street. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have to deal with a misunderstanding like that. Sorry about that. Oh no. If anything, it's my own fault. Who likes gymnastics? What a nerd. Too. People are often wary of me because I'm an honor student. The school's expecting me to attain strong results in the upcoming competitions, too. They even told me I didn't have to participate in the cleanup event. But I just don't like getting special treatment. Oh, 
Excuse me, my father's calling. Hello, Dad? What was that? Uh, sorry, my phone's been acting up lately. It's okay, thanks. Mm-hmm. I'll see you later. Sorry about that. He asked if I needed a ride since it's raining. A bit overprotective, don't you think? Been a great dad. He must care a lot about you. Yes, I definitely agree. Well, I have to get to practice, so it's time for me to go. Thanks so much for today. Excuse me. Sumimasen. Seems pretty rough. Seems like Yoshizawa has it hard, too. But never mind that. Having wet fur is the worst. Try to keep me under the umbrella, would you? Put your head back in the bag and you wouldn't have a problem. Hey, I found some great intel. This... This time it's bullying by a Kosei student they call a queen. She's been ordering around a male student who goes by the name M. Kinda like M in s and M. I wish I was in his shiz! <laughs> Wow, just outing yourself there, bud. No, this is what I get to choose. A girl is bullying a guy that goes by M, and he's like, kind of like the M and S and M, and my, one of my options is, I wish I was in his shoes. Getting bossed around by this girl. Does M stand for Mishima? That's a secret? Anyway, here are the details. <laughs> the girl acting like a queen is Hikari Shimizu. I wonder if it's more likely that a girl will turn out like that if she has an S as an initial? This is weird. Well, I already posted the warning, so you should take it on when you have the time. Hopefully you don't end up an M. <laughs> what did he mean by S and M? Those are shirt sizes, right? Is it the size of clothes? I guess I'm not doing my Morgana voice, huh? Anyway, it seems like she's a worthy target. Let's find time to consult the others at the high end. Sadism is just a sign of love. Ooh. This is Aoyama Ichome. Just add this. Might as well save now. Wow. Well, I think I've been ignoring a lot of, uh, messages here. <laughs> How's your studying coming along for your exams? Hey, we got a picture! Cute! Save it! to hang out.
Why is my therapist texting me? been paying attention to my texts. <laughs> I already saw that movie, Ryuji. Ooh. Oh shit. <laughs> Uh, whoops. I accidentally completely ignored texts from my boss. <laughs> oh, two different bosses. Oh no! I hope I can count on you. Oh no! <laughs> These are from four and five days ago. <laughs> Oops. A doopies. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Where are we going? Should we go work? We might want to go work. So I still have a job. <laughs> I don't think it works like that in the game, but I feel bad now. We're gonna go to the flower shop mm -hmm. first. Who, Dr. Thotty? Yeah. Dr. Thotty. What do you want to do? Let's work. <laughs> that apron's really starting to look good on you. Some moolah. You did great. Why, oh, thank you. How are you feeling? Mm. We're more kind. That's all. Wanna head back? You haven't heard anything from the student council president, have you? Miss Honor Student must be busy kissing ass somewhere. <clears throat> you don't have to be so harsh. What is this about a student council president? The one at our school has kind of been keeping tabs on us. I think she's suspicious of us. Are you sure it is not merely a result of Ryuji's general misconduct? Shut up! Though to be honest, the three of you most certainly stand out. Do try to be careful. I cannot be there to look over you at school, you know. That duty rests on your broad shoulders, Rata. Ooh, Yusuke thinks I have broad shoulders. I said Yusuke thinks I have broad shoulders. That duty. Doo-doo. <sighs> got it. I'll make sure to keep an eye on Ryuji, too. What do you gotta single me out? The others kinda overshadow you sometimes, but don't forget. You're famous, too. Just make sure you're careful, okay? Hey, inmate! Inmate, we need to talk to you. Get over here right now. Caroline, that is not a sufficient explanation. Listen well. Inmate... Come to the entrance of the Velvet Room before we change our minds. That's the door only we can see in your world. You'd better not go to the wrong place. Then. We will be waiting for you. We expect great haste and enthusiasm from you. Hmm. Hey, who are you talking to? 
They sounded really noisy. If you're being summoned somewhere, you should probably get going. I suppose so. Reminds me of a recurring dream I had for like a year after I got out of retail. I kept dreaming that I was scheduled to work at my old job and I forgot to come in like till five days later. Oh lord. Go to the airsoft shop first and sell our shit. He does come about modified model guns. I thought I didn't have enough guts to talk him talk to him about the bag yet. Yeah. Come on. I do not. couple of items. Yes, ladies. What would you like? I was waiting. So you've come, inmate. Huh. You're late! Next time we expect you in front of us within two seconds of our calling. We've got some new duties lined up for you. Let's call them special assignments. To the point, there are a number of places in your reality society that may foster your rehabilitation. You will prove the value of these places to us, in person. Listen up, inmate! We will select various locations that we suspect could be vital to your rehabilitation. You should recognize- should you recognize a place that we mention, then you are to escort us there. You want to go explore? <sighs> Are those ears of yours just for decoration? These are special assignments for the sake of your rehabilitation. Work just as hard at them as you do the rest of your duties. We will await you in front of the door, like this, whenever a special assignment is available. Hmm. Should you meet our expectations, we'll scrape together some sort of reward for you, so no slacking off. We ought to mention, these special assignments will not be available indefinitely. To phrase it for your comprehension, you will have until the end of the year to complete them. You are also required to continue working towards your rehabilitation to earn these assignments. Amazing. We're really going out of our way for you here. Don't tell us we never did anything special for you. You can now take the twins to various facilities that pique their interest. When these outings are available, the duo can be found waiting for Ratter just outside the Velvet Room. In order to place them, or take them to these locations, you'll need to check out the various facilities around the city. Time will pass during an outing with the twins. That concludes our explanation. In that case... We will now introduce the first special assignment. Are you prepared? Sure. Very well. Then listen closely. The first location we have chosen is... One that has grown quite popular lately. It's purported to offer foods that simulate the feeling of being in space. The food is apparently massive enough to rival the size of the universe itself and resembles a mysterious spacecraft. If this food exemplifies both the unknown and the vast nothingness of space, it is sure to stimulate the heart. Does this description bring any locations to mind? Yeah. Well, if you know where it is, then escort us there immediately. Oh, don't tell me the answer. What'll you do? It's Big Bang Burger. Oh. Big Bang Burger. The name is fitting, I suppose. Guide me, inmate. We shall confirm your, our intel for ourselves. Lead the way. Hmm. 
Can everybody else see them? Or does it look like I'm just sitting here at two tables by myself with three drinks and a single burger? You can just pick her up and throw her. Uh, is this the is this the meal they boasted to be as immense as the cosmos? I'm quite disappointed. Hey, inmate, you don't really expect some kind of reward out of this, do you? Just the beginning, sure I do. It's the big bang challenge. So humanity intends to generate its own universes now, does it? You've got guts. We've had enough of your smart remarks. Know your place, inmate. Oh, so they can get that large? <laughs> the Big Bang Challenge. What an intriguing concept. <clears throat> For the sake of your rehabilitation, you are to take this challenge. Of course, you will take the largest they offer. I'm not going to be able to pass that. Any objections, inmate? I'm not ranked high enough. Ah, oh, yes. I did overhear that the challenge required advancement through a number of previous stages. Quit spacing out. I don't care. You're taking that challenge one way or another. Get on your knees and beg if you have to. Might as well give it a shot. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I'm not passing this. I don't think anyone else can see them now. <laughs> they look insane. Not unusual. Feeder is a much. Don't tell me. You're really doing this? Well, we're the 10,000th customer. To show our appreciation, we're treating you with the highest tier of the Big Bang Challenge. Treating me, huh? Wow, lucky you! Well then, it's time to get the 30 minute Big Bang Challenge started. Ready? Begin! Today on Beard Meets Food. The last burger was downright insignificant in comparison. It's bigger than the inmate's entire stomach. Perhaps the moniker implies that any diner's stomach will suffer its own Big Bang. It'll definitely pop. This is gonna be easy. Would you care to try it? This is your re rehabilitation, not ours. That's right. <coughs> We are here only to observe you, and don't forget it! I predict this challenge shall be a fairly difficult one. Be that as it may, you must finish the food tower in its entirety. Failing to join the Clean Plate Club is a grave offense. Okay. Do you think it's a good idea to add even more crimes to your record? Get to the rehabilitating inmate! Oh lord. Ah! No! Why'd you pick the whole thing up at once? Hmm, not a bad start. But you've only just begun. Already full. <laughs> You're stopping? Listen up. Who said you could stop? No breaks. Work that jaw. <laughs> hmm, I don't like the. I. Uh, don't his eyes look rather dead to you? Perhaps he is glimping, glimpsing, glimping, the vast emptiness of outer space. Uh, hey, is he really all right? He's not about to keel over, is he? I don't think I can finish. I think he's about to pass out. I suppose. It appears this truly was too much for him to handle. Very well, let us pitch in. Hey. You're hopeless, inmate. You'd better be grateful that we're bailing you out of this. Whew, we did it. I have to say, you really held your own there. You almost didn't make it through, but we'll call this a, su a success since your stomach didn't burst. <sighs> I must say, though, I'm rather dissatisfied with this place's usage of the moniker Big Bang Burger. They certainly craft a meal of impressive size, but when compared to what the Big Bang generated, it's not grand in the least. 
Do humans have some sort of compulsion for exaggerating the sizes of things? Good question. In fact, this challenge raises quite a few of them. You took the challenge for the sake of your rehabilitation, but who in their right mind would willingly consume so much food? Maybe I don't understand humanity at all. Say, inmate, why are humans always testing and pushing their limits? Uh. Ooh, sort of training? Ugh. Aren't there more practical approaches to training than such behavior? Hey, Justine, maybe we should take the challenge ourselves. I just had the very same thought. If we were to thrust ourselves into this ordeal, perhaps we would discover some answers. Hey, person! So they... people can see them. They are visible. And now I am a teenage boy having dinner with two ten-year-old girls. It just got weirder! We are taking the Big Bang Challenge. Uh, there's a minimum age requirement to be eligible for the challenge. Oh, could I interest you in our Lil Big ma Meal instead? It even comes with the toy. Don't you want a cute little spaceship? A spaceship? It's a burger, fries, and a juice for 500 yen. It'll be right up. <gasps> Wait, we didn't ask for... It's too late now. Let's just settle for that today. I admit I'm intrigued by my by the diminutive spaceship. <laughs> it crossed the weirder threshold long time ago. <laughs> well, we didn't experience any of the wonders of space, but at least the taste was passable. You seemed much more excited by the toy than the taste anyway. <laughs> Cute little spaceship. Shut up! Are you eating around those pickle things or whatever they are, Justine? That that wasn't food from this earth. It was clearly a alien spawn of some sort. <laughs> she don't like pickles. What? Is this true? They're a delicacy. <laughs> I see. Well, they didn't taste bad. But seriously, what are they? I ate all of mine, you know. Calm down, Caroline. We're getting off track. Caroline? Well, at any rate, we've determined that hamburgers are incapable of conveying the majesty of space. While the toy spaceship helped to soften the blow, there's no denying the truth. Now we will formally acknowledge the completion of your task. Woo! Here is your reward. Is that you better work just as hard next time we know about all sorts of locations that would aid your rehabilitation I'm still taken aback by the truth your world is absolutely full of these shop places for a reasonable fee nearly every desire can be fulfilled all as if it were nothing that does sound interesting I believe it may merit further research. Anyways, good work, inmate. Your final task for the day is to escort us back to the Velvet Room. Let's move. Keep waiting every episode for Chris Hansen to ask these guys to take a seat. Today. It's raining again. I'm hot. Are we there yet? It's hard to breathe in here. Train news. Calling card at Madarame exhibit. Scam outbreak in Shibuya. Students are the primary victims. Organized crime is suspected here. Hey, hey. 
Students getting scammed? That's scary. You should be careful when you go to Shibuya. <sighs> Goodness. What's this? A request to the student body. It says they're looking for information. I heard Principal Kobayakawa put it up. Please consult the student council president if you have any details. So we can go to her for anything? Why the student council president, though? What does she have to do with Principal Kobayakawa? I mean, Nijima-san is his favorite. Maybe that's why he asked her to do it. Skittles flavoring to go on your liquid death? Ooh. How tragic. Seems like most of society was surprised about what the, that artist did. He was someone who represented Japan. They probably trusted him based on his name alone. Indeed, we're easily manipulated by the names we see. However, this world is filled with fake names. For instance, this creature, which you know well. It's called the Red King Crab, but it has a form that a crab should not have. Tatakun, look at this picture. Give it a try. The Red King Crab is biologically related to the Hermit Crab. So how is it different from a crab? Do you know? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe want to wrap things up by eight. You seem fairly tired today. Yeah, I'm a sweepy. I had to get up early and not eat any brackies. And then drove out to Fort Worth just to do nothing. different from a crab. Is it the shape of the pincers, maybe? I do not know this one. How is the Red King Crab different from a crab? It's saying that the Red King Crab is biologically related to the Hermit Crab, so how is it different from a crab? It has a form that a crab should not have. So there's something that crabs always have, or there, that crabs never have, I guess, that the Red King Crab does have. I feel like this is a trick question. Is it the number of legs, maybe? I don't know. I gotta guess something. Number of eyes, no. I do not think that normally crabs have more eyeballs. Or something like that. And I don't think the Red King ca crab has more eyeballs. His face. He's so ugly. Do normal crabs have a different pincer shape? I guessed correctly. Crabs have five pairs of legs, but red king crabs only have four pairs. The direction the legs unfold is reversed, too. Typically, they face forward, but red kings do not. 
trying to think what a crab normally looks like, right? <laughs> I'm just like, I don't know, it looks like a crab to me. Nice going. Ooh, I'm a smarty. Look at me go. Incidentally, the Tom Alley of a crab isn't its brain, as some people say. It's actually the crab's liver and pancreas. As you can see, the world is full of deception. Uh, I saw some kind, of, some kind of pastes like that in the fridge at Level Blanc. But it's not often you see real crab meat. Hey, why don't we get sushi for our next celebration? Nature keeps reinventing the crab. Yeah, I keep seeing stuff like that. Hey, there you are. I need your help with something. Now what? I uh, found this flyer stuffed in my mailbox. Oh? Housekeeping service. It says that a cute maid will do anything for you. A maid, dude. A maid who'll do anything for us. You're getting a little too into this, Ryuji. Right? Right? What are you saying? You're a guy, right? You know what I mean. Let's give it a try. Yeah? Yeah? Luckily, some guy on my floor just moved out, so there's a vacant apartment in my complex. The key is behind the mailbox, so we can get in any time. The landlord seriously doesn't care. The place is all set, so... Hey, I heard that! <gasps> no! Help? Um, can I, uh, get in on this? <laughs> no! Y'all quit being oh, weirdos. You mean you're into this kind of stuff? Wow. Okay. I'm not into it. It's just for research. Mm-hmm. Sure it is. What does it mean that they'll do anything? And do the maids look exactly as they're advertised? We need to determine whether or not this company just pretends to offer housekeeping services. Okay. Sure, Mishima. <laughs> sure. It's a bit much. Just tell the truth. I guess we have to then. <laughs> Just want to punish the bad guys. Mm -hmm. And in order to do that, I have to see it with my own eyes. Never gotten the whole thing about maids. Just a huge fantasy for guys. I think it's about being able to boss somebody around. Yeah, we, we gotta see it with our own eyes. Every little detail. We'll have to do this at night, so let us know when you're ready. So what's the code name for this operation? Hmm. Creepy. Uh, since we'll be watching them, it should be something like... Operation Maid Watch! Nice! I like that. Very subtle, folks. Our name did spread a bit thanks to Matarame, but I bet people still wouldn't care if we came out and said we're the Phantom Thieves. You're right. I must agree. But what good would come of telling people our identities? Maybe they'd at least start treating us with some respect. Well, I can understand why you feel that way. That's just how things are now. But if we keep doing stuff like this, that will definitely change. We simply need to devote ourselves to the cause. Our praise will come later. What he said. I'm sure people out there will understand. Uh, I guess we just gotta act like modest heroes for now. It's about the fantasy of having someone clean your place at all times. I've heard, uh, imagine never having to dust again. That would be nice. 
I've heard people say it's like a power fantasy. Bad guys who are into that fantasy never seem to talk about bossing them around or anything like that. I literally that think it is just the outfit. I don't know. Principal Kobayakawa put that up without my... We've already received some anonymous information. I heard some students are getting threatened. I'm so scared. Please do something. What? They have dirt on me and they're demanding money? I can't go to the police, what should I do? Isn't this talking about the crimes that have been rumored to be occurring in Shibuya? So there are even victims at our school. What should we do? This isn't the responsibility of the student council. This is frightening uh, for mommy us kink. too. Yeah, it might have something to do with that. Principal Kobayakawa called you in yesterday, right? Did he tell you anything about this? Well, no. He's out today, but I will ask him tomorrow. Please wait on this for the time being. If you say so. My apologies for the confusion. Don't worry. I'll do something about all of this. Hey! If we keep this up, I'm sure we'll get more supporters. But first, we need a new target. I hope we can find a good one. I have some new info. Apparently, there's a group of burglars terrorizing Shibuya. From what I hear, they only target restaurants and break in after they close for the day. Someone online was asking if it was the work of the Phantom Thieves. Just reading that got me really pissed off. Why can't people- we can't let people lump you guys in with petty thieves, right? But aren't we the same? Just forget about it. Uh, no way. Yeah, you guys are way better than these jerks. Anyway, I heard they've been running away without leaving even a trace of evidence. That's all the information I have on them right now, sorry. For now, I'll make a post on the fan site and ask for any more details people might know. Mm. Man, being famous really brings its own unique set of problems. But we really don't- but we don't really have any info. We'll just have to wait for Mishima to get a more solid lead. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, something happened to me the Actually. other day. I almost got kidnapped. Glad you're safe. Darn, next time. <laughs> Who would kidnap a cat? Hey, wait! <laughs> hey, what's that supposed to mean? I was in serious trouble, you know. Some girl had this crazy look in her eyes, and she was chasing me around, calling me a snowball or something. I wonder if she's been going after other cats and snatching them up like she tried me. Hey! Try checking the fan site and see if anyone's saying anything about it. Wasn't able to find any relevant posts. Uh, Maybe it's just not a well-known problem yet. The only victims are cats, so I suppose that could be the case. Okay, let's go. Let's try asking around Yongin and see if you can find the culprit. You catch that? Morgana said other cats. <coughs> we have several requests mm. now. Weather very well may have the same effect on mementos as it has on humans. <gasps> I got a text message. Oh boy. I'll never forgive you if you do. <laughs> Silly. Mm -hmm. All right, I need to take a short break and go potty, and then we can continue. BRB.
All right, we're back. I have returned. To catch that, Morgana said other cats. Other as in cats besides himself. As in, Morgana admits to being a cat. Whee! Yeah. That he do. Okay, let's see here. We should go around Shibuya and see what's going on there. What is this? What is this for? Who has stuff to do? enough guts to do the next thing, right? Hmm. I can become closer with Takemi thanks to the death persona Matador. <gasps> Let's do it. To the exam room. <laughs> She's pleased. Ooh, three. Bye. Okay. Very nice. Okay, there's a couple things we can do in the evening uh. here. You're back. Yes, I am. You didn't forget, did you? You know about that flyer. We need to look into the truth behind that housekeeping service. I'm over at Central Street right now, so come talk to me if you're interested. Looks like Mishima's waiting for us in Shibuya. Do you think we should go see him? I guess. There was either this or going out to... Kochi Jija, whatever it was... <laughs> whatever it was called, and checking out the thing at night the um the meat stuff or no there was there was a guy in the back alley that was like acting crazy let's go right away don't flake out on me okay please i won't flake you Oh no, art, press conference. Yeah, yeah. Hey all, I'm gonna steal your hearts. Imitating the Phantom Thieves? No thanks, let me talk to your manager. Naturally, they're dope. Things have been so down in Shibuya lately. Keep hearing about all these gangs. Guess Japan's not so different from my own country. Where are you from? Place is hiring part timers. I work there. Popular idol. Politician named Yoshida. Oh yeah yeah yeah. We've we've seen him. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Started pouring into the fan site. I'm gonna be a busy bee. <laughs> We're expecting Ma Operation Maid Watch tonight for sure, right? Hell yeah. Uh, 
sure. All right. Can you do to get up? There you go, good girl. Kit has joined us on the couch. She a good girl. Oh, it's tax day. Every American's favorite day we owe again. Yeah, we do. No matter what changes we make based off of the previous year when they're like, oh, make these changes and you'll make it, you won't end up owing or whatever. We make those changes, we end up owing more. I don't fucking know what's what's going on. Why? I think I actually don't owe for the first time in ten years. Congrats, that sounds nice. We owe a lot. Uh, I want to change out of your uniform. I guess it's a pretty good idea. We're meeting over at Sakamoto's place, right? Let's stop by mine beforehand so I can change too. Go and get comfy, Trinket. Okay. She heard a crinkle upstairs. <laughs> really gonna do this, huh? You think it'll be okay? <laughs> Operation Maid Watch, bro. <laughs> Why is he holding it so low? Yeah. Operation Maid Watch. Well. If it turns out to be sketchy, we can just bail. The apartment's vacant, so it's not like we'll be messing with anyone's home. Still worried. That's smart for you. You're a genius, Ryuji. This maid's gonna come in here and be like, what the fuck do you want me to clean? Why am I here? Aside from you, just look at me. Weirdo. We'll be fine. You're real wuss, you know that. I think Sakamoto has a brain. But if that's the case, then. Then. Yep. Yeah. Okay, give him a call. What you doing? Hey! Hey! Chopil got super duper sunburnt. You should show them. <laughs> Look at that line. Go stand behind the couch so they can see both arms. Yeah. <laughs> That's not even a trucker's hand. Like that would just be my left arm. This is uh this is a sunburn. It's a farmer's. I was farmer's out hand. In, uh, hey, being Joe. Outside from Seven in the morning until seven at night. That is very much the farmer's man. But yeah. Look at these red arms. It's like I've got two different like kinds of arms. Like I look like Frankenstein's monster. <laughs> yeah, they got it attached at that seam. <laughs> like looking at it from here, I kind of just look more tan. Kinda. I don't do that. <laughs> but then you look at that, and it's like, oh, wow, that's like <laughs> two different shades. You gotta start going out and just put, like, really high gloves on so you can tan your upper arm. Yeah. <laughs> I've done enough already. If not you, then Mishima. Huh? <gasps> Me? I'm not good with that kind of stuff. Seriously. Please, Tatter. Ugh. Y'all are the ones horning out over this shit. Thank you for calling. This is Victoria's housekeeping. <gasps> they answered. Hey. Shh. I take it you're interested in our services, then? S services? Is there anyone in particular you'd like to request? Huh? Anyone we want to request? What should we do, Ratter? No preference? Send anyone. No preference. Very well. Let's see here. We have a maid available in 20 minutes. May I ask your address? Whoa! Shh. 
shit, this is really happening. A maid's services. Hey, what should we have her do? I was thinking we start with some cooking. Of course, I wouldn't mind some of the other services either. Should we hold a strategy meeting to discuss? They said 20 minutes, right? Ugh, I gotta use the bathroom. Oh, it's almost time. You were in there for a while, are you okay? Hey, did you wash your hands? Ugh. What? Who? Me? You're really nervous. <laughs> uh. Are high school students even allowed to use this type of service? Huh? What? What do you mean, huh? You should have researched it. What if they find out who we are? Wait. How should I know? But why would how old you are matter when it comes to housekeeping? We would have been screwed if your number had shown up on their caller ID. Good evening. I'm from the housekeeping service. Oh no. Huh? What? Already? Time. She's five minutes early. What do we do? I'm not mentally prepared. Nobody is. <laughs> I like how you're just a tiny little head in the corner of my camera. <laughs> a strategy meeting to discuss what this one employee is going to do. That's some corporate BS for you, right? Oh, the door's unlocked. May I come in? Oh, I can't do this. My stomach's acting up, and my hands are all sweaty. Oh, my bad, man. Okay, you handle the rest. And don't let her find out you're a high school student. I've got your back. Just from way back. Like, from the balcony. Wh Quit! What? You're giving shit away. What? I can't do this either. Tatter, we'll leave it to you. Ryuji and Mishima fled to the balcony. Excuse me. Oh, there you are. Welcome home, master. <laughs> it's definitely a control thing. I'm going to fill your tired heart full of lovely energy. Meow! Heart. I'm Becky, and I have the pleasure of serving you today. Can I request someone else? <laughs> wow. Master, that's the other game. Nice to me out you. Yes. We're going to get along so well. Meow. Oh my, how thoughtless of me. I should explain our services to you, Master. What would you like me to do today? These basics include cooking, cleaning, laundry. How come I haven't turned around yet? This is so fucking weird. Don't worry. Just talking to somebody's back. But there are other services we provide if you desire. Hmm, you look young, master. Are you perhaps in high school? I'm in college, I'm a dad. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll say I'm in college. Wow, your skin's so healthy. You're not lying to me, are you? Hmm. I'll wait to provide those other services until you've matured a bit, Master. So, I'll be going now. Huh? What? No! Quiet. Is someone there? Oh, no. Shit, run, Mishima. Mishima? Sakamoto-kun? And you? Hmm... Did you request me specifically? Oh, wait, are you? Oh no, it's alright. <sighs> How would you know me? You're very, very right, Space. It just got into an even deeper level of weird. This is our first meeting. Yes, the first time ever, Master. First time ever. Ugh, this is unbelievable. Yes, it's me, your homeroom teacher. I'm so done. 
can't believe I got caught by some of my own students. Should have taken a job outside of the city. Yes, you should have, you dum dum. But I needed it to be close to school so I could go there after I finished work. Hey! Who did you hear about this from? Oh, it was Miss Chuono, isn't it? That harpy. Miss Chuono, the English teacher. She's been snooping on all the teachers ever since that incident with Mr. Kamashita. Are you gonna tell Miss Chuono about this? That's up to you. <laughs> what do you mean? Hmm. Hey, if you're gonna side with the teacher, side with me. I'm in charge of your class, after all. And if you promise not to tell Miss Chonu about this, I'll do anything for you. Anything? <laughs> mm. Hey. Hey, it won't be any better for you if people find out that you called a maid service. This isn't even your home address to begin with, is it? I guess you at least thought about that. Well, I'll promise to keep this a secret too, so why don't we both forget this ever happened? I'll treat this as if you had cancelled, so you won't have to pay anything, okay? <clears throat> On that note, I'll be leaving. Don't say anything about this at school, okay? Just act as if nothing ever happened. Got it? Okay, bye. Suddenly feel exhausted. <sighs> Wanna go home? Damn. It's like Japan's version of OnlyFans. What do you think about that? <laughs> yeah, you had the same idea, Chill Pill. <laughs> That calling card <clears throat> sent to the Madarama exhibit. Do you think? I was wondering about that. Yeah, I think it's just like the one sent to Kamashita. People online are saying the Phantom Thieves are behind That's this. Cool. There's already a fan site with a bunch of requests posted on it. <laughs> it's so cool. Can't believe there's real life superheroes. If it's happened twice, it's probably gonna happen again. Can't wait to see who's next. Sounds like a lot of people are going to be on that trip to the studio tomorrow. Do you guys get to see the show, too? I wouldn't mind seeing that. I like talk shows. Oh, and variety shows. I wonder if they'll talk about the Phantom Thieves. They certainly get plenty of attention on TV and the internet. Hmm. Though I'm a little worried about what might happen if the media gets people too riled up. That reminds me, have you guys covered totalitarianism yet? It's a governmental structure that unites its people under single ideology and author authoritarian control of the masses. In theory, it brings the people together under one ideal. That definitely comes with logistical benefits. But it also means forcing ideals on people, assimilating the unwilling. And that's how wars get started. How about you? All right, Tattercoon, here's a question. Where does totalitarianism take things a step further than authoritarianism? Um, totalitarianism takes a step further than authoritarianism. I think they both do this, right? Totalitarianism is a dictatorship, so it would be under one dictator.
Because I think you can have an authoritarian government that has multiple leaders or whatever. Not just like a dictator. Authoritarian is like China, totalitarian is like North Korea. Yeah. Because I think they both justify inhumane laws. Let's try this. Hmm. Maybe it was a bit. No! A totalitarian government tries to control the culture, morals, and even thoughts of its people. To minimize dissidents, they try to assimilate everyone into one ideology. Even reading the room can be seen as a form of personal assimilation. You all do that too, right? I try to, though I'm not great at it. It's not a bad skill to have. It can even help you survive the modern world. The game is entirely wrong here. Also, I don't... I haven't seen, like, an actual explanation from him. And why is the... Psychiatrist or whatever teaching a government class question mark so I'd like to remind you all to keep a strong sense of self and an open mind so we can disagree and still live in harmony I guess class is almost over that's it for today mm. I don't know why he's leading a class strong sense of self huh we need to make sure we don't lose sight of what we believe in too What's that Sounds mean? like the principal's trying to get info on the students. Why do you think he's doing that? It's probably because of Mr. Kamashita, right? Considering what happened with Suzuki-san. Huh? I heard Principal Kobayakawa knew about the sexual harassment too, and just turned a blind eye to it. I bet he wants to snuff out any rumors now. Even the volleyball team was told to keep quiet. That's the worst! So that's what he's using Mijibes Senpai for? <sighs> oh yeah, rumor has it she knew as well. Isn't that horrible? Chick's all noble about it too. Mijima Senpai knew? <laughs> According to Oxford, <clears throat> What is the meaning of this, Principal Kobayakawa? Why did you post that notice? According to Oxford, totalitarianism is a system of government that is centralized and dicta dictator <laughs> Why can I not? Dictatorial? Uh, and requires complete subservience to the state. It was all for your sake. I thought the more information you had, the easier your investigation would become. And no, it's just putting blame on her. Arise about the case I ask you to look into. Nothing yet. I will pass the details along if anything comes up. Right now, there is a more pressing issue. It appears there are students at Shuchen who are being threatened by a criminal organization. <sighs> A student who saw your posting came to us looking for help. I'd like to request a countermeasure. Isn't this some sort of mistake? I can't believe this would happen to the students of our academy. Now is no time for such problems. There is still lingering concern regarding the phantom thieves. Yeah, none of the but students give a shit about a that. Request for help. I'm rather busy at the moment. If you wish to do something, you will need to act on your own. Sir, are you sure about this? I'm still investigating your case as well. Yes, that's correct. It works out perfectly. My intentions have borne fruit. This criminal organization must be the connecting factor. If you pursue this criminal issue, you'll surely find clues about the Phantom Thieves. But that's absurd. So, let's say this rumor is true. Do you intend to ignore those students in trouble? I... Your sister would have solved this easily if she were in your position. This is My such an asshole. My expectations of you are very high. I hope you don't disappoint. Dickwad. Dickwad! 
<clears throat> so, what kind of person would be a bigger target than Madarame? Hmm. I wonder. I guess it'd have to be someone who's the talk of the town. That's quite a vague prerequisite. Don't we have any more specific ideas? Crooked politician, a famous celebrity, an evil overlord! Um, I would say that Madarame was more of a famous celebrity, so maybe a crooked politician? But I want to say evil overlord because it's silly. Dude, this ain't some kind of video game. <laughs> Either way, we'll need a lead before we can begin anything. We'll just have to look for that as we go. If only there was a big target just lying around for us. Should be learning right now. Put that phone down! Tomorrow's field trip is to the TV station, isn't it? Maybe our next target will be a celebrity? Oh yeah. Hey, there was something going on with Kamo Kawakami, wasn't there? Something involving Chouno? I'm not sure what's going on, but maybe you should ask her about it. She's probably still at school, right? Let's go look for her. Text! <gasps> Do you have time today? I was thinking I need to make good on our deal. No time like the present, right? We can start hammering those basics into you anytime. Ooh, not right now. <laughs> Dude, this ain't some kind of video game. <laughs> Fourth wall, you're breaking the fourth wall! I guess not in this case, since they don't call attention to the fact that they are actually in a video game. But whatever! My new shit is doomed. Uh, okay, where is she? Can I just... Is there a teacher's lounge somewhere? Maybe here? <sighs> Nope. Not that. Hmm. <laughs> he just did the exact same thing I did. to improving knowledge and charm. We just improved proficiency, so that's not... And guts and kindness. Ooh, we're getting close to most of them going back up. I like how we contemplate <laughs> our skill set while we're pooping. Cafeteria. Where the hell would I find this teacher? Oh. 
I don't know where to look for this teacher. Our classroom. Maybe she's on the same like like she has an office on the same floor or something. Principal's office. Go beat up that asshole. Faculty office. There she is. Wow. That's a sassy pose. I wonder if that's the English teacher. Miss mm -hmm. Kawakami, I already know. Kawakami's been driven into a corner by Choluno. Let's talk to her so we can help her out. Miss Kawakami, I already know. Oh, come on. No! Stop it! There we go. As I've been saying, get home safely, tatter -kun. Well then, I have another matter to attend to, so I have to excuse myself. No, we're not finished talking yet. Uh, so... But I... There's been a series of scandals on this campus. We're all being called into question. And yet you leave for work earlier than anyone, and you barely make it to the faculty meetings. Explain yourself. Don't tell me you're out running around at night. Mm. Kawakami's being grilled by Choluno. She said she'd do anything if we helped her out, so let's clear up Choluno's su suspicions. The school's closing soon, Mr. Tatter. Head on home before it gets late. Or did you need something from Miss Kawakami? I have a question for her. No, I'm good. <laughs> I have a question for her. What? Huh? Uh, oh! Y you have another question? Another question. That's right! Tattercoon's questions are complicated, so I take time at night to help him. So you're giving individual lessons outside of school hours, hmm? What passion. You are the ideal teacher. A passionate teacher is exactly what we need at this school. I'm sorry for suspecting you. Well then, keep up the hard work, you two. Hmm. She just kind of convinced herself. But that did clear up her suspicion, so thanks. Could you come with me for a bit? I can't talk about this at school. This is the address and phone number of my night job. Ooh, I got your phone number. Just be like, hey teacher, those curtains are looking pretty dusty, don't you agree? <laughs> call at night and request me. Just be careful that it doesn't show up in your call history, though. Okay? Hey! Yeah, you did it! No call history means a public telephone. Let's call from LeBlanc's yellow phone. Let's call Kawakami when you're free and invite her to meet you at your room. Well... Okay, I have to go. going to come to my room? Wow. I should write something. Alright, I think we call it here for tonight because I am a sweepy. I've had a long day of not having breakfast and then getting stabbed and then driving a very long way just to not be able to do the thing that I drove out there for. So I would like to just relax for a little bit, have my din-dins at a reasonable time, etc. So, we'll call it there. Um, yes, I just weepy. Um, tomorrow, Chill Pill will be doing some Harry Potter reading. Uh, and then on Wednesday, continuing more Metroid Prime. 
I think that's what it was. Uh, and then Friday, more Yakuza Zero. Yay. Lots of cool things. Um, so yeah, that's everything we got coming up. We're all done for today. So like we always say, sleep tight. And don't let the insufficient teacher salaries bite. See you.